Right, my camera literally just made some weird noise, so if it explodes, I'm sorry, uh, that's the end of the video, I guess. So yeah, let's try and finish this as soon as I can. Anyways, apart from that really random fact, 2021, that's upon us, it's happening in a few days. I'm filming this on a Wednesday, and Friday is the birth of 2020 Part 2. And I am not looking forward to this. But of course, since this is a new year, there is a bunch of technology items to look forward to, and one of them could be Apple Glass. Because of course, John Prosser, big Apple leaker, told us a few months ago that Apple could launch Apple Glass as a one more thing at, of course, the iPhone 13 event taking place in September. So possibly we could be less than a year away from Apple's biggest launch yet. In fact, Apple's biggest launch since the Apple Watch, and that blows my mind. Now, we know some preliminary stuff about the Apple Glass from, of course, John Prosser, such as the fact it's gonna be $500, it's gonna have LiDAR and AR capabilities, it's gonna have a wireless charging stand thingy, and it's also gonna have a plastic design. So, yes, very interesting stuff, but something we don't know about Apple Glass is the UI. How do you interact with a pair of glasses? Because clearly, there isn't some sort of touchscreen you can poke, it's in your eyes, so do you just poke your eyes? Is that how you interact with Apple Glass? Well, no! Thankfully, because poking your eyes will be a very dangerous thing, you can actually use hand gestures with the Apple Glass because we have new patents uncovering all of this. So, without further ado, if you want more Apple news like this, make sure to like and subscribe, click that notification, and with that being said, let's just tuck in. So, this patent was recently filed and Patently, Apple noticed this patent and essentially it uncovers two features of the Apple Glass that we can come to expect. So first of all is this AR capability of Apple Glass where it basically senses things around you and gives you additional information. Now of course, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, so let me give you a few examples as to how this could be used practically. For example, imagine you're strolling around in a cinema because 2021 is going to be great and everything's going to go back to normal. <laughs> yeah, it's not, but just imagine that things go back to normal and you're in a cinema and you see a poster and you're looking at that poster, you're looking at a very big poster. The Apple Glass could sense this using the LiDAR capabilities and it could automatically play a trailer for that movie. So yes, that is pretty useful, I guess, but more importantly, that's going to be insanely cool. Imagine a trailer in your eyes, in 3D, in your face. That's going to be awesome. And also another capability of this new technology is maybe you're out and about in a new country because again, we're traveling again. Uh, clearly, this Apple Glass really depends on the fact that everything goes back to normal. But again, imagine, dream, that things go back to normal, and you're traveling again, and you're in a new country, and you want to explore things, and so using this technology, Apple Glass could present just information in your face without you asking. And so, I guess that could be more efficient than, of course, you trying to search up on your phone. And of course, since it stays in your visual... Thing. like it's just it's just there um, you can walk around while you see this information trust me I'm doing a pretty bad job explaining this but hopefully you understand how pretty insane this is but of course that is just touching the surface of what is capable with Apple Glass because we have hand gesturing features with Apple Glass and interacting with the UI which is pretty mad stuff so to understand this concept, this patent does give us an example. So basically it says that you can clench your fist and move it clockwise to unlock the Apple Glass and then anti-clockwise to lock it. Just imagine doing that in public and looking like a clown. Now I can already imagine the possibilities of hand gesturing with the Apple Glass. For example, you could possibly refresh your Twitter feed like this, you know, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty mad. John Cena style, that would be pretty awesome. And you could do all kinds of hand gestures and interact with the Apple Glass and look like a weirdo in public. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Honestly, all jokes aside, 
yeah, that's probably the problem with this technology. It's gonna be pretty awkward to interact with Apple Glass in public. Because the problem Google had with their Google Glass, if you remember what that was, um, CNET made a video on this, but it is very, very awkward using a pair of AR or like, you know, technology glasses in public because when you're looking at someone and having a conversation and you see some notification pop up in your eyesight, um, you're gonna want to interact with it. And that's gonna be rude because while somebody's talking to you, you shouldn't be distracted by other things, but that's the thing. You can't disconnect from the virtual world because the virtual world's gonna be in your face 24-7. So yes, I don't think hand gesturing is gonna be that nice to use. And so that's why I suggested that I thought Apple Glass would come with eye tracking because eye tracking seems a little more subtle and I think you can get away with like dismissing notifications with your eyes, whereas hand gesturing is something a little more obvious. So yeah, I think in the final production unit, I hope, we see both hand gesturing and eye gesturing with Apple Glass. But of course, I will admit there are advantages to this hand gesturing abilities because number one, you will feel like a bloody wizard, you know, doing things through the hand. That would be very awesome. But also, I think games will be absolutely amazing with Apple Glass because of course, it will take advantage of the LiDAR scanner and the AR capabilities to possibly play games like maybe Pokemon Go and other AR games I'm not aware of and you can actually use your hand to pick up those AR objects. That sounds really, really cool. And so I really can't wait to test that out. Now, another interesting thing this patent mentions is basically other users around you won't be able to see what is displayed on Apple Glass. So I think unlike Google Glass, if I'm not wrong, you could see what the other person is seeing because it was a small screen essentially on the side of the frame, but because this uses LiDAR and it's AR, other people won't be able to see what you're seeing. Now, of course, this will work perfectly for Apple's whole privacy facade and it will be absolutely great for them. But also I feel like, you know, you get up to pretty dodgy things without people noticing with Apple Glass, which I'm not looking forward to. Another really weird thing this patent mentions and they've even pictured it, is the ability for Apple Glass to use its AR capabilities and give you a virtual birthday card. So when it's your birthday, it will randomly pop a card in front of you and you can physically pick it up and it'll probably sing to you and do cool animations. And yeah, your glasses will be telling you happy birthday. That is the future of technology. So yes, I, I guess I'm looking forward to that. I don't know. I, I'm just really confused why, out of all the things they could have demonstrated, they demonstrated this. So yeah, if you wanted to know if Apple Glass could do that, you now know. Finally, this patent also talks about spatial audio, the big buzzword with a lot of Apple's audio products, that's gonna be built into Apple Glass. And again, that's gonna be amazing because you're literally wearing this stereo system on your face. I'm assuming it's gonna have some sort of bone conducting speaker possibly, so you can listen to movies and watch YouTube videos and watch all kinds of shows. And using spatial audio, of course, it'll feel like the content is around you and coupled with this AR tech, I can't even begin to imagine how awesome this is going to be. So yes, I am certainly looking forward to using that with Apple Glass. So yes, that is pretty much what is uncovered in these patents from Apple Glass. Now, of course, not everything we see in Apple patents ever make it into production, but since this is very closely tied to AR glasses, I think it's very likely that we could see this technology in Apple Glass when it debuts next year. And a quick tidbit about the release date. When Apple does huge announcements like this, they usually release the product way before it's ready for mass production. So we saw the Apple Watch come out around September 2014, I believe, but it went on to sale around March 2015. So it was around a six month gap from announcement to, of course, eventual release date. So I think 
That's going to be the same case with Apple Glass. I think Apple's going to show off this tech to us at some sort of Apple event, maybe at the iPhone event, as I mentioned before. But in terms of release data and when we can start using this technology, it's going to be much later. It's going to be around March 2021 or maybe even further into the future. So yes, that pretty much wraps up everything we know about Apple Glass right now. And of course, expect in 2021, the leak train to continue in full force. We're going to see a plethora of leaks. And so, of course, make sure to like and subscribe. Click that notification for the latest Apple news. Now, weirdly enough, this isn't my first Apple Glass video. And if you want to check out my thoughts on if Apple Glass could replace the iPhone, I made a video on that. You can check out on the icon above but I won't recommend you checking out because it's one of my first videos and it's probably very cringy. So yes, I would actually recommend you to check out this recent video. It'll be somewhere. So yeah, check that out and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.